So we're going to start, I guess. Um... Oh. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's visual lessons. It's our yoga lessons. Um, people on Facebook Live, you might hear me a little bit strange today. I apologize for that. Uh, we're going to start our yoga class today. Um, I think today we're going to do mostly yin type class like a lot of stretching and um, some long holds, but we are going to do a little bit of things that maybe maybe we'll do some muscle engagement. Uh, but I think today a lot of people have gone outside. I know that a lot of people have gone hiking here in Washington and are probably looking forward to do some stretches. Uh, so that's what we're gonna focus on. Go ahead and get to your mats. Find an easy seated position. Eyes closed, hands rest on your knees. Spending a few moments tuning in. Notice your breath. Notice how your body feels. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. And again. And settle into your meditation for the next couple of minutes. Begin to deepen your inhales. Lengthen the exhales. And on the next inhale, bring both hands up and over your head, palms touch. Exhale, hands to your heart. And again, inhale, scoop the energy up. Exhale, thumbs into your heart. Inhale, bring in more energy into your reach. Extend your fingertips, reach up high. And exhale, thumbs into the heart. Eyes closed, chin bows slightly. Set the intention for today's practice. And on the next inhale, reach up. You're welcome to open your eyes. Exhale, reach forward, palms into the floor, forward fold. Deep breath in. Fold deeper. Deeper breath in. Relax your hips, relax your upper body, allow your body to soften forward. And again, deep breath in. Long breath out. Slowly roll your sp spine up, walk yourself up. Inhale, reaching the arms up once again. Left hand plants down, right hand reaches up and over. Deep breath in. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale, reach up, look up, switch on the exhale. Try to keep the bicep by your ear, reaching the thumb back a little bit as you reach the fingertips over your head. Okay. 
One more deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, rise up. Bring the palms to touch, thumbs cross in front of you. We're going to take some seated cow cats. So inhale, lift the chest, look up, round your spine forward. Exhale, cat pose, round your spine back, chin to chest. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Bring the fingertips onto your knees. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Forward. And back. Come on back into a tall seat. You're going to walk your hands in front of you, roll over your ankles. We're gonna meet in a downward facing dog position. For downward facing dog, you want your feet hip width distance apart. You want your hands shoulder width apart, maybe slightly wider. You want to be pressing your thighs back, your hips back, drawing the heels down, lifting the tailbone toward the ceiling. As you press the arms into the floor, biceps by your ears, you're taking your gaze back. Take an inhale, reaching the tailbone up. Exhale, press the hips back. Inhale, reach the tailbone up. Exhale, press the hips back, getting the arms nice and long and straight. Stay here for three more breaths. One more deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, look forward, look forward, shift forward into a high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, press back into the downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Inhale here, exhale, press it back. Step your feet to touch, lifting the left leg. Reach the toes far back. Now begin to bend the lifted knee and opening the hip. Pressing both hands evenly into the floor. Take some ankle rotations. Switch direction of your rotations. Inhale, lift the leg high. Exhale, release it down. Switch legs. Extend the toes long. Bend the knee, open the hip. Square off your shoulders by pressing both hands into the floor firmly. Take some ankle rotations. So which direction? Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. You can keep your knees off the floor or you can lower one knee or both and slowly lower down all the way. Belly, chest, thighs touch the floor. Hands slide down by your ribs. Elbows point back, zip your legs together. Inhale into cobra. Pressing the tops of the feet into the floor, your kneecaps lift. 
Begin to lift the front body a little bit higher off the floor. Maybe peeling your hands off of the floor. Breathe. Bring the hands into the floor. Press yourself up. Separate your feet. You are now in seal pose. Maybe looping over the right shoulder and the left to get your neck warmed up. Maybe taking some chin rolls from shoulder to shoulder. Bring your chin back to center. Lower down onto your elbows. <clears throat> elbows underneath your shoulders. Zip your legs together once again. You're now in Sphinx pose. Tops of the feet press down, thighs press down. Kneecaps are lifted. Place your palms into the floor, forearms into the floor, and try to create a motion where you're pulling your elbows back and lifting your chest forward. You're not actually moving your hands or your elbows, but you're creating the sensation of pulling your elbows back and chest forward. Chin is neutral. Deep breath in. Long breath out. And again. Exhale. Inhale. Let it all go. If you're gazing to the right, switch direction, move to the left. And come on back into center, into your sphinx pose. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up into seal, or maybe lift your thighs off of the floor into the upward facing dog. Begin to tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Walk it out. Pause, inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, press the heels into the floor. Inhale, lift them up high. Exhale, exhale press them into the floor. Step your feet to touch. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, step your right foot forward for a low lunge, dropping the back knee. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. You're now in an easy twist pose. Reach up, look up, twist a little bit deeper. Release the right hand down, step it back, shift back into a half split. Half split, one more deep breath in. Long breath out. Shift forward, easy twist. From here, begin bending the back knee, reaching your hand for the back foot. If you cannot quite reach that, deepen the bend in the front knee. If you got the back foot, amazing. Look over the bend of the Open shoulder and breathe. Mm -hmm. 
One more deep breath in. Long breath out. Release the back foot. Easy twist. To a half split. Here an opportunity to move into the full split. If that is in your practice, or if you wish to begin to practice that. Full splits, begin to make your way back into the low lunge. We have a couple of more things to do here. All right, our next pose is lizard pose. So you're going to bring both hands to the inside of your foot, front foot, and then you will bring your front foot onto the knife edge, which means you'll lift the bottom of the foot up, and you're going to help the knee to open to the side and fall to the side. You can choose this variation. You can bring both hands down to the floor in front of you and just take your gaze to the top of your mat, allowing the knee to open out to the side, allowing for gravity to do the work. Additionally, you can lower down onto your forearms here On Instagram, I see that you're not getting the whole picture, so I will come and try to adjust. For those of you who are in a lizard pose, stay there. My Instagram views are viewers, I'm sorry, I see that you're not getting all of the... All of the mat. This house. All right, my beautiful lizards, start making your way back up. Lift both hands up. Interlace your hands. Press the interlace of your hands up toward the ceiling. Take a back bend. And then release your hands onto the thigh and keep pressing the thigh away, going deeper into the back bend. Breathe. One more deep breath in. Long breath out. Release your hands down and make it into the tabletop. Knees underneath the hips. Wrists underneath your shoulders. Taking a couple of rounds of cow-cat. Exhale everything out. Inhale, cow. Rounding your spine down. Exhale, cat. Round your spine up toward the ceiling. Inhale into a cow pose. Exhale into the angry cat pose. Inhale up, and exhale down. We're going to transition into a modified side plank, chest opener next. I'm going to start, I'm going to demo on my left side. So I'll extend my right back, foot back. I invite you to do the same. Extend your right foot back, tuck your toes and press through the heel. Gives you a nice stretch in the back of the leg, but then you're going to drop your heel down, pivot your left leg behind you, inhale, reach the arm up, and open your chest. You're now allowing your chest to lift, 
Hips push forward. Right arm falls back behind you. Chest opens, right shoulder falls back behind you. Reach your arm up and over your ear. Continue to reach forward as you pivot back down. Release the hand into the floor. Another round of cow cat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, flat spine, tuck the toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk it out. Step your feet to touch. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, step it through, we'll lunge. Drop the back knee. Let's inhale, come up, take the back bend. And then the right hand comes down. Left thumb reaches up for the easy twist. Continue to reach, continue to twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, reach up higher. Exhale, bring both hands down, shift back into a half split. One more round of breath here. On the next exhale, shift forward. Easy twist. Bend the back knee. Reach for the foot. Now you're in a twist with a quad stretch. Deep breaths in, long breaths out. One more breath in, long exhale. Release into the easy twist. And then both hands down, second set, half split. Option to go into a full split. Take one more deep breath in and long breath out. Make your way back into a lunge. And now we're working on our lizard pose, other side. So you're going to drop your foot out and let your knee come out to the side. So here in the video, you should see the bottom of my foot facing you. And my left foot is on its knife edge. You're welcome to stay here. You wish to go deeper. You will come forward onto your forearms. 
Maybe some of you can go all the way down. This allows you deep access into your hip flexor. IT band stretch, some gluteal extension. We'll take one more deep breath in. Long breath out. Start making your way back up. Release the foot. Rise all the way up, inhale. Interlace the hands, reach up, press up. And then send the interlace of your hands into your thigh, press the thigh away. Stay in the back bend. One more inhale, long exhale. So we make your way up, both hands come down. Coming into the tabletop once again. Taking a round of cow cat to release. Find the flat spine. And then you're going to extend your left leg behind you, press through the toes, push the heel back. And then modified side plank on this side where you're going to send your right foot out, left heel will drop, left arm will reach up. And you're going to start falling into your back bend, pushing your hips forward, chest up. Reach the arm. Over your head, bicep by the ear, continue to reach forward as you shift your body's position parallel to the floor once again and release. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, flex spine, tap the toes, put the palms flat into the floor. Push your hips up. Exhale, downward facing dog, walk it out. And then slowly release them to your knees. We're going to swing the legs in front of us. Take a fairly short forward fold, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach forward, hinging at the hips. Try not to round your spine here. So here's what I see a lot, is people will lift up with a flat spine, they get to here, and they cannot go any deeper, they start rounding their back. So they start rounding their back. I invite you, even if you're just here, stay here. You can bring your hands down. I don't want your back to be flat, not rounding, we're accessing our hamstrings right now. Maybe you'll walk your hands all the way to your feet. Keep a flat spine. Maybe you'll just have your hands on the floor or on your calves. Keep a flat spine. Good. Slowly make your way back up. Shimmy forward to the top of your mat so that you have room on your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, we're gonna come back flat onto the floor.
As you come flat into the floor, bring your arms down beside you and walk your feet in for bridge pose. So that your fingertips are grazing your heels. Your hands will remain flat on the floor as you push into your heels. And begin to lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Once you have the most lifting of the hips that you can do right now, walk your shoulder blades in a little bit closer, maybe even interlace your hands underneath your low back. Begin pressing into your heels some more so that you can rise your hips higher. Higher and higher. Reach the knuckles toward the front of the room. Toward the top of your mat. Release your hands. Lift the arms up toward the ceiling. Fingertips reach up toward the ceiling. Shoulder blades flat on the floor. Begin to roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. But leave your tailbone lifted. And really lift your belly in and up. So your tailbone is hovering over the ground. Start lifting your pelvis up a little bit higher so you're squeezing your abdominal muscles. And gently shake your hips from side to side. Shift your hips from side to side. Keep the pelvic lift, keep the abdominal squeeze. And release all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. And again, exhale, squeeze. Feet come back flat into the floor for the second set of bridge. Press the heels down. Lift the hips up. This time arms stay flat on the floor. Reaching the fingertips forward. Palms press down. You're going to lift your right leg high. Press through the heel point and flex your foot a few times. And release. Lift the hips high, keep them high. Left leg reaches, point and flex the toes. Release the foot down, right leg reaches. Point and flex the toes. Release the right foot down, left leg reaches. Point and flex the toes. Release the left foot down, lift your hips up high. High, high. And then roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Press your left ankle over your right thigh. Press your left knee forward, flex your left toes toward your knee. Begin to lift the right foot off the floor. You can interlace all 10 fingers underneath your right thigh. Bring the, bring the head back into the floor, slight tuck of the chin, so the back of your neck is on the floor. Take an inhale, exhale, hug the right knee in. Recline, pigeon. One more inhale, exhale, squeeze, hug it in, and now drop it, to the right, so that your left foot is going to land flat on the floor. You can use your right hand to assist your foot flat on the floor. You can also use your right hand to press your left knee away. Let's take one long breath in. Long exhale. 
Bring your knees back into the center. Left foot still on top of the right knee. Drop your knees to the left for the supine twist. You're welcome to open your arms out to a T and gaze towards your right palm. It's a good opportunity to close your eyes, surrender the weight of your body into the floor, surrender to gravity. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, clear your mind. And bring it back into the center. Left foot is still across your right thigh. Let's take our half pigeon once again. Interlace the hands underneath the right knee. Hug it in. Flex the left toes to protect your left knee. Deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze. And release down. Both feet into the floor. Lift your hips up, bridge pose. And exhale, release. Good. Right leg extends long. Right heel is on the floor. Right toes are pointing up. You're going to hug your left knee into the chest. Interlace all 10 fingers over your left knee. Take an inhale. Press through the right heel. Exhale, squeeze the left knee toward your left armpit. Inhale, right heel presses forward. Exhale, left knee hugs into the left armpit. And again, right heel presses forward. Exhale, squeeze the knee in for three, two, one. Next, you're going to lift your left foot up, right leg continues to be straight. You're gonna bring your hand to the outer edge of your left foot. Your left knee points down towards your left armpit and you're going to start pulling on your left foot, stacking your left heel on top of your left knee and drawing the left knee down toward the floor, left thigh hugs into the left side of the ribcage. Right leg is still long and strong. Right hip presses down. Right thigh inwardly rotates. Right calf presses down. Right hip upwardly rotates. Now bring your left shin across the front of your chest. You're gonna bring both hands, if that is accessible, under your left shin. And you're gonna start guiding your left shin across your chest, left heel to right shoulder. Take deep breath in. Hug your shin and exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale. Hug it in, exhale. Beautiful. Release your left foot up toward the ceiling. Interlace your hands underneath your thigh and just point and flex your left foot. And then take some ankle circles and switch direction. The back of the right hip presses down, the back of the left hip presses down. You're going to peel your shoulder blades off the floor without rounding your spine. And you're gonna walk your hands up your left leg. Here you're gonna take an inhale, pull the elbows out. Exhale, fold forward toward your left knee, pouring it to the knee. Breathe. For three, two, one. Release down, hug the knee to the chest, invite the right knee to join it. 
Rock from side to side. Good, left leg rises and extend the left leg into the floor. Interlace all 10 fingers on your, on your right shin, inhale. Exhale, hug the right knee into the right shoulder. Inhale, hug and exhale. Inhale, exhale, hug in. Good. Release the right foot into the floor. Bend the left knee, left foot into the floor. We're gonna take one more set of bridge pose. Inhale, both hips up. One more inhale, lift the hips high. Exhale, roll your spine down one vertebra at a time. This time your right foot crosses, right ankle crosses over the left thigh. Bring the left knee in. Interlace your fingers underneath the left thigh. Hug it in. Inhale, both hips on the floor. Exhale, squeeze the left knee toward your body. And again, inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Now you're going to drop the whole thing, the crossing of your legs to the left side of your body. Remember the adjustments that were available to you on the other side. So you can have your left hand on your right foot to stabilize it. You can use your left hand to press your right knee away. And if you find an adjustment of your own, do feel free to share. Take one more deep breath in. Long breath out on the side. Inhale, bring it back to center. And exhale, drop your legs to the right. Take your gaze to the left, arms to the teeth. Taking a supine twist. One more breath in. Surrender to gravity on the exhale. And inhale, bring it back up. Let's hug our left knee in one more time. And then release the left leg long. You're going to grab the outer edge of your right foot. Stack the right heel over the right knee and use your hand to assist to guide your right knee down toward your right armpit. Your right inner thigh hugs in to the outside of the right rib cage. You're working to keep both hips flat on the floor. Continue to press through the left heel. Get that left leg nice and long. Strong breath. And now bring the shin across your chest. Lay your head back down and start hugging the shin into the chest so that your right heel is aiming toward your left shoulder. Yeah. 
We're here for one more deep breath in. Long breath out. Release your right foot up to the ceiling. Interlace your hands below your right thigh, behind your right thigh. Point and flex your right foot. And then take some ankle circles. And switch direction of your ankle circles. Get the left leg nice and straight once again. Walk your hands up your right leg. Shoulder blades lift off of the floor. Inhale, lengthen the crown of your head back. And on the exhale, bring the forehead to your right knee. Inhale, exhale, release. Both feet flat into the floor. Taking one more bridge to realign our spine. And exhale, release your spine down one vertebra at a time. Bring your feet to touch. Open your knees out to the side, butterfly your legs. Bring one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Close your eyes. If it is more comfortable for you to bring your hands down by your sides, do that. And just close your eyes, take your gaze inward. Follow your inhales all the way down to the bottom of your lungs. And then as you exhale, notice how your air escapes the body, how your upper body softens. Just focusing on a breath on your inhales and long exhales. Stay with your steady breath. Stay as still as you can. The Sutta Baddha Konasana. Opening your inner thighs. Opening your hips. The gravity is doing all the work. You just breathe.
And you're here for three more breaths. One more deep breath in. Long breath out. Take a moment to bring your knees back together. Squeeze your glutes. That's going to help with that discomfort on your inner thighs. Bring your knees together. Hug the knees into the chest. Tailbone stays down, shoulder blades are down, back of the neck is down, back of the head is down. And then bend the knees, reach for the outer edges of your feet. Happy baby, rock from side to side. And then bring your peace fingers around your big toes and extend your legs out wide. Back to the happy baby. And happy baby, stack your heels over your knees. Bring your knees out wide. And draw your hips and tailbone down toward the floor. Gentle rocks here. And then release feet into the floor. Walk your legs long, inhale, reach the arms up, interlace your hands, and take a banana shape. Take your hands to the right, feet to the right, cross your ankles. Relax the left side body back to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Walk your hands to the left, feet to the left. Take the banana shape to the other side of the mat. Relax the right side of your body to the floor. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Come back into the center, arms down by your side. Palms facing out. Separate your feet. Rest in your final Shavasana. Feel the connections of your heels on the floor. Right heel and the left. Right hip, left hip. Connection of the back of your right hand on the floor. Back of the left hand on the floor. Feel the connection of the back of your head on the floor. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, feel all those connections of your body with the floor. One more deep inhale. Exhale, release all the tension in your body. One more deep inhale. Exhale, knowing you're exactly where you're supposed to be in your life, right here, right now. And then slowly, when you're ready, wiggle your toes and your fingertips. Start rolling onto the right side of your body.
When ready, coming into the seated position. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands into your heart. And again, circle sweeper. Exhale, thumbs into the heart. And one more time. Inhale, circle sweep. Exhale, bring love, kindness, appreciation into your heart. Thank you for practicing with me today. The light in me sees, bows, and honors the light within each and every one of you. Namaste. All right, guys, good job. Good job. <laughs> Let me unmute this meeting here. Hi, Irina. All right, I'm going to end the Zoom meeting because this link, this Zoom is going to be used for another meeting here in just a couple of minutes. Thanks, everyone, for showing up. Yeah, keep us posted. I will keep you posted. There will be there will be another class at least on Thursday, but probably sooner. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.